This is a beautiful world. PhotoArc is a 25-year effort to try to get the world interested in saving the planet, in saving life on Earth. Joel Sartori is a National Geographic photographer, and he's most passionate about one thing, getting you to see animals and really connect with them on a deeper level. Over the past two decades, Joel has photographed over 5,000 animals for a project he calls the Photo Arc, <laughs> collecting images of animals great and small who are all endangered or under threat. Everything from the Utah milk snake to Sumatran tigers, gray gibbons, poison dart frogs, polar bears, spotted jellyfish, giant pandas, peregrine falcons, and the Sulawesi stripe-faced fruit bat. Joel takes their pictures and collects them in his photo arc. I was really concerned that people weren't really engaging with wildlife, and I thought, what's the simplest way to do this? And I thought, well, well, we'll eliminate all distractions and just be able to look these animals directly in the eye, and we'll make them all equal size. Without comp size comparison, there's nothing in the picture but the animal on a black or white background. A mouse is every bit as important and lovely as an elephant. The power of Joel's images is both their detail and their simplicity. He takes high-resolution portrait shots of every animal and shoots them against a solid black or white background, so you can really study the animal outside of its natural habitat. You can see their faces and their details and get to know them like you never have before. You know, when an animal goes extinct, and I've, I've photographed several animals that are gone now, it makes me sad, of course, but it also is inspiring for me to want to tell their story and not let their loss be in vain. Uh, I just try to let the world know that this is critical, and as these species go, so could humanity. After all, when we save these other species, we're actually saving ourselves. We have to have bees and butterflies to pollinate fruits and vegetables that we eat. We have to have healthy, intact rainforests, not just for the animals that live there, but because they regulate our climate. They allow precipitation to come where we know how to grow crops. So there's a lot in it for humanity to save all the other life forms. Joel has taken his favorite images from the photo arc and published them in a book called Photo Arc, One Man's Quest to Document the World's Animals. It contains over 500 images of rare and endangered animals. And throughout the book are stories of conservationists and individuals who are working to save and restore and maintain species around the world. These stories, Joel says, are important to him because they highlight the power of optimism and the power of the people. Because it shows that we can turn things around, that we don't have to lose half of all species by 20, 2100, which is where we're headed to go. We need to save big blocks of rainforest, big blocks of ocean. We need to preserve habitat, not only for the species that live there, but for ourselves. We have to have clean air, clean water, food to eat. These are, we're talking about big issues here, and I want to show people that are doing positive things and getting real results. And you don't have to save the whole world. You can just save what's in your backyard, and that's literally what those people are doing. So I, they are heroes to me. Joel says everybody can help. You can become a member of your local accredited zoo, and you can start backyard projects that help animals, like creating habitats for them or food sources, like planting milkweed to help monarch butterflies. You can also go to natgeo.com and study up on species around the world that also need your help. Well, my idea of a beautiful world is where people talk to each other and are kind, kind to each other, but also kind to nature. Whether you like it or not, we really do need nature to survive. You can see Joel's images and the endangered species he's collected in the photo arc online at abeautiful.world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World. Brought to you with help from the Polad Family Foundation.